Hey, what's up guys? It's PBJ. So, pretty much every game I play in League of Legends, there's always that one guy who types in all chat, Report please! R report this player! Game doesn't even have to make it to five minutes and someone says in all chat, Report singed! <laughs> he didn't take teleport as top lane and then he didn't leash me, report! <laughs> they really mean it too. They're trying their absolute hardest to make it known to everyone in that game that you should report them. <laughs> They're talking in all caps and shit. REPORT! <laughs> Not even five seconds into the game. REPORT! It's like, Jesus dude, I can't even leave the fountain yet. Why do people even say that to the other team? They just want some kind of validation or something? If I type it in all chat, then the person I am reporting will get scared and he will get nine times reports. Ha 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 ha! It's like the only thing they want is for someone on the other team to be like, okay. They just type in all chat back, okay, will do. It's like, what the fuck? And there's actually people that do that! It's like, really, dude? You're one of those people who just believe everything on the internet? How about this one? Report! Our jungler's so toxic! tilts me when people misuse the word toxic. It's like, do you even know what that word means? They just throw it around because they think it sounds worse. They actually have no idea what toxic behavior is. It's like Riot coined this new definition of the word toxic and the league community is just a bunch of sheep, so they want to use it now. Our jungler is so toxic! Nah, dude, he just called you bad. That's not really what toxic means. And most people would report for that shit. It's crazy. It's not going to ruin your day. Get over it. And people actually drop reports for that. Guess what? You aren't really offended by it. You're just not. You're just pretending that you are. And if you really do get offended by someone doing a bit of shit talk, then the internet probably isn't for you. I also love it when you're going back and forth with the banter and then they run out of shit to say, so they're just like, muted. You're muted. Let's be real. If you have to tell somebody that you muted them, you didn't actually mute them. You say that they're muted just so you could bait a response from them. You want to know exactly what they say right after they're supposedly muted. You just want to soak up all that drama to use in your report later. And I know that there's people like this. They type the most well thought out report of their entire lives. They make that shit perfect. They write a fucking essay to Riot. And they over exaggerate everything in hopes that Riot punishes them. They just straight up lie in the reports just because they're that fucking salty that they lost and the other person said GG easy and it tilted them off the face of the earth. It actually fucking worked. You're tilted as fuck. I find that shit hilarious. Alright, let's take a look at the hypocrisy of the League community, shall we? How you look when you say GG versus GG easy. 157 upvotes right now. Let's take a look. GG? GG easy. Let's read some comments. So true. Unless you say it after a loss or a 60 minute back and forth game, then it's just funny. What? This guy can take something as a joke? What? Let's read his reply. 59 upvotes this guy. If I lose in a back and forth 60 minute game and the enemy says GG easy, that guy is getting reported and me wishing upon a star that night that he dies in a fire. It's wrong, I know, but that shit is the most aggravating BM thing ever. Really? So just because someone says GG easy, you wish that they die in a fire? Wow. It's wrong, I know, but that shit is the most aggravating BM thing ever. Okay, so saying GG easy is BM, but you wishing that they die in a fire? That's justified. That is just so okay now. Fucking unreal. Let's take a look at this guy's match history, actually. Let's take a look here. Okay, plat 4, not the worst rank in the world. He's actually doing alright for himself. Let's look at his matches. Oh, wow, let's see here. Uh, feeding, and very poor CS, 112 creeps at 21 minutes. Oh, wow, feeding again. Feeding even harder this time. Still very poor CS. Uh, this game is Lucian. He actually didn't do half bad. He's actually having um, a little bit better of a game. He has 
276 creeps at 36 minutes. Okay, we'll give him that one. Let's keep going. Okay, feeding. Bad CS. Feeding. Feeding. He won this game, but he's still feeding. Died 10 times as Volley Bear somehow. Uh, feeding. It's still one. Feeding. Feeding. Mega fucking feeding, dude. Oh my god. Did this guy, like, even consider the fact that the games he's playing is actually easy? Like, oh my god, mind fucking blown, dude. This guy's actually crying that people say GG easy to him when he's getting fucking shit on. This guy died 11 times as Volley Bear in 29 minutes. And he's, and this is the guy that reports because the enemy team says GG easy. Go cry to your fucking mom, dude. Get off the internet. It's just crazy that there's actually people like that in the league community. They just go report happy. It's like, they mainly just do it when they lose, but like, they just have to let out all their anger by reporting someone. And like, they have to blame them for their loss. Like, this guy ruined my gaming experience. How dare him? Riot, please save me from the toxic assholes. I'm in ELO hell because my team feeds are as toxic. God, it's like, there are people that report every game that they lose, and that's their excuse. It doesn't matter if they go, like, 0-20 and 20 and they won, or you went, like, 45-2 and two with 3 pentakills and lost. Like, it's called bragging rights for a reason. You brag that you won. Like, that's a part of casual gaming. Like, have you ever played Halo or Call of Duty on Xbox or something like that? You know, like a 12-year-old kid gets on the mic and says, Heh! <laughs> I fucked your mom last night with my big 12-inch cock! It's like, what are you gonna do? You gonna send an angry email to Microsoft telling him that you were verbally abused? No. You tell that kid that his balls haven't dropped yet, and he better go to bed before his mom comes in and beats him with a paddle for staying up past 8 o'clock or some shit. It's like, fuck me, man. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's my rant on the leak community. I mean... I basically blame Riot for why their community is just a bunch of whiny little bitches and act like they should just be treated like saints all the time. I mean, Riot, they, they, Riot just wants to create this ideal world where it's impossible to offend anyone, and if you break that rule, you're just threatened to be punished. Like, no, you're not allowed to be mean, ever. It's like, oh, sorry, oh, we won our game? Oh, good try, guys. I'm sure you just had a bad game. Like, oh, no, you definitely won't go 1-14 in next game. No, you probably just had, like, a toxic player on your team making you play worse. And, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll just report anyone who said mean things to you. Nah, fuck that, dude. I'll report you for being a whiny little bitch. GG easy. Thanks for easy game. Too easy for me. Get fucked.